German prosecutors have dropped a sexual assault investigation into Till Lindemann, the singer of the metal band Rammstein. Earlier this year, Lindemann hit global headlines after several women claimed they had been drugged at after-show parties and then assaulted by the singer. Lindemann has denied any wrongdoing. Prosecutors say they found no evidence to support the allegations and no charges will be filed. And we can now talk with German culture journalist Jenny Zilker. Uh, Jenny, why have uh, prosecutors dropped the investigation into Till Lindemann, exactly. Yes, the um, public prosecutor's office dropped the proceeding due to lack of sufficient suspicion. The people who had reported the complaints were not affected themselves, but relied on statements from media reports and these two YouTubers. So the legal investigations by the public prosecutor could theoretically now be resumed, for example, if new evidence is available. But that rarely happens in practice. And there are other disputes that Lindemann's lawyers fight out with certain media because of certain formulations. For example, Spiegel is no longer allowed to write things, but Spiegel is allegedly appealing so it's smoldering on. I also believe that at least the debate about whether our legal system really has to say systematically in case of doubt for the accused or whether in case of doubt one should rather believe uh, presumed victims so that the presumed perpetrator bears the burden of proof. This debate will definitely be rolled up again. In this respect, it's not completely over yet and certainly not on a social level, even if all of this has allegedly brought many loyal, loyal Rammstein fans closer to their band. There's also the opposite effect among fans who are shocked because of the lack of personal reactions from Rammstein and Lindemann, as well as among people who just observe the whole thing as non-fans and refuse now Lindemann as an artist um, and that are also perhaps triggered by the choice of words in his poems or his disturbing behavior in the porn video that's circul circulating. Rammstein's approach to the German Feuilleton has failed anyway, so there will be some consequences. Mm. Now, we've heard allegations from several women. Uh, does today's decision prove them all wrong or could they still take their claims any mm. further? Yes, they could, of course. The decision doesn't prove them wrong. It just says there's no, not enough evidence. I assume that this is a legi legitimate judgment and laws apply to everyone. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a constitutional state. The debate about who to believe in case of doubt and this whole story in general really divides the society at the moment. But um, as a desperately optimistic person, I always try to see the good side of things. After all, we are talking loudly and more often again, like we are doing here, about misogynistic and sexist stru structures, about abuse of power and about how and why women have to learn to formulate their limits more clearly. On one hand, this is the sad picture of a society in which so much is still not working. On the other, at least, uh, not everything is swept under the table, hopefully. It's ambivalent. And there's anger from me, but there's also hope. Now, so what's next for Lindemann, then? Will we see him taking action against women who have accused him? I don't think so. Um, I don't think that he will say anything. He hasn't reacted at all yet, only through his lawyers. And um, that's what I would blame him and his band for the most. Um, I don't know. I don't understand why there isn't the talk or interview at a TV show or in a newspaper. Um, uh, maybe he could show what that does to him in his, in, his, uh, uh, in his head. And all that will also have consequences, for example, in journalistic work. I mean, uh, can we ever interview him again? Are we allowed to talk about this, these things or not? Um, his uh, Kiwi Verlag, uh, where he... Uh, had mm. his, books, his books published will no longer work um, with him. So there are um, some, some... The interesting thing is they never wanted to be political, but mm. now they became very political through this thing. Jenny Silke, thank you very much.